so excited to be in the kitchen with Chef Kin San Hi, how are you? again today. I'm well, and how are you? Good, thank you. What are you making for me today? Today is very simple Japanese traditional rice bowl. Name is onigiri. So normally, so only rice and salt, but today I put in uh, salmon, grilled salmon, and the nori and the little bit. So raw sesame. So you're telling me that mm, traditionally you could serve it with umeboshi or... Yeah, umeboshi is very popular and also Japanese pickles. Excellent. So we're going to make it a little bit more substantial today, a little bit more portable yep. Yep. so that you can have this lunch on the run. Yep. <laughs> okay, we start. So first, we're cooking for rice. So oh, when I was cooking for rice, washing rice, Fast. So we'd wash all of the starch out of it first yes. so that the water is running clear. Yep. Excellent. So for people at home, we're gonna Kinsan's gonna teach you how to get the perfect rice. <laughs> <laughs> so rice is when I was cooking. So basically rice with water inside is better. That's why when I was washing after keep one hour. Because ah. the more you know, like a taste is good. Okay. So but if quickly, yep. so still half an hour is okay. But okay. it must be less is better. And so to so once you've rinsed it, we're gonna mm. leave it for about half an hour. That's right. Um, yeah. room temperature or refrigerated, doesn't oh, matter. Good job, okay. Excellent. Yep. Okay, so after we've washed and, our rice. Yep, and water. So So water is a if rice is a one cup, uh -huh. water is one point two cup. That's an so, easy thing yeah, to remember. 20% is uh, more is like water. Excellent. So even if we're doing for a family of four, 20% more water than rice. Yes. Easy to remember. Then, when I was for heat up, uh -huh. first big fire. Yeah. When I was boiling, take small. Okay, then, so we want to bring it to the boil fast. Yeah. And exactly, then you're turning yeah, it down. Exactly, okay. yes. Then after for small you know, fire, mm -hmm. then slowly, slowly, is a steam is a rest. Excellent. If less and then looks like for lady, take okay. it. Okay. Keep about for 15 minutes okay. and the lady to eat. Okay, so we're going to let the steam cook the rice, so an absorption method for people mm -hmm. at home. Yep. And as soon as the steam has cooked it and it looks good enough, we're going to take it, put it aside for yep. 15 minutes. Yep. You got that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So while our rice is cooking, what's mm -hmm. the next step? Next, we're cooking salmon. Mm. Salt is on top. Today, I cook in style is two different kind of thing. One is a not skin. Uh -huh. One is on skin. On skin is good, but have to be take off scale is good. Ah, okay. so be very careful. We don't want any scales in our <laughs> yes in our dish. Then, like this tray mm -hmm. on top. So when our salmon is on top like this plate. So 200 degrees and put in the oven, like grill, grill oven. So the grill setting for 200 degrees, about how long? Will we about put? seven minutes. Depends for size. Okay. Yeah, but this size is about seven minutes enough. Okay, excellent. I hope you do yep. that. So we've got our salmon. It's well done under that grill. I'll pass you your bowl. Yep. So. Uh, when I was ready to cook, after put it here and crush. So I using for spatula today. So we're just breaking up all the flakes yes. of the salmon. Then nori. But before nori put in here, toast it. So we're going to toast the nori sheet. So this is something that people might not usually do at home. They would know it to usually for sushi rolls. Yeah, so sushi nori is a very good one. Of course, very good flavor. So this flavor is coming for a little bit toast as well. So that's me. When I was you go to Japan and mm. a good sushi shop. Yes. Before making for nori roll, mm -hmm. they have to be like this. Uh, and the flavor is coming after making nori roll. So it's a slightly more roasty, toasty flavor. Yeah. And also like a Good crunchy. Uh huh. Yeah, because normally, so sushi roll is by for in Australia already making. Uh huh. That's a little bit wet. Yes. Yeah, this one has a not so good flavor. Okay, but so it, when it's wet, traditionally how we may be used to seeing it over here, yeah. it doesn't have all of the flavor that you're creating with this. Yes. Excellent. So that's a nice little tip for us to uh, get used to at home. So maybe you can try for this normal nori flavor uh -huh. 
and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and toast it to one, a little bit different. So, okay, so it's quite mild, just very gentle flavors of this sea, a little bit um, just green in terms of our, what mm. we'd normally recognize seaweed to taste like. Yeah, this one is uh, more, you know, like a kind Can I of take it a little bit? Yes, it's crunchy and the uh, ocean flavor. Yeah, more intense. Yes, so everything is right. concentrated mm. and it's crunchy, as you said. That's right. So this is, we're going to be using it as a seasoning. Yes. Okay. So when I was, you know, like a toasty after crunchy, ah. like this. This looks like something to get your kids involved with. Yeah. <laughs> the smell is what good. What fun! Next is a raw sesame. Okay, so we've just pan toasted those. Yes. Excellent. But Extra almost, flavor. You know, yeah, if you buy for Japanese grocery, already lost to one. You Even can buy. better. Yeah. Even more convenient. Look yeah. out for the pre pre roasted sesame. After. So we are making for rice. Ah, so that's the absorption method. So we can see sort of a few little dimples in the top there. Rice is inside. Then already this salmon is a salt to taste already. But today, a little bit more taste inside. So, so we're going to add even more seasonings to bring yeah. it even more to life. Okay, this one is a QP mayonnaise. So this is... It used to be when um, <laughs> in, the, in the late 90s, I couldn't find this anywhere and I had friends send it to me from Japan, but now you can find it everywhere, which is very, very exciting. Very so you popular. always have to have it in your fridge. <laughs> and uh, also Japanese soy sauce. Excellent. Just a little bit is okay. Couple so of sauce. traditional yeah, seasonings there. A little bit of sweetness, creaminess mm. and saltiness. Yep. Then you can use it for just water mm -hmm. and make the hand because otherwise it's sticky. So ah. make it like this and depends how to big. So normally so people make it for kind of a triangle. Then after another nori sheet on top looks onigiri. How beautiful. So another onigiri. Okay. This one is a triangle one. Other one is a tawara onigiri. Tawara onigiri is a kind of a like this. Ah, so a cylinder. Yeah. So tawara means uh -huh. rice, rice back. In Japanese, rice back. Okay. In tawara. Okay. And they're making like this. Looks oh, beautiful. Good too. This is going to be very appealing lunch. That's right. They just look so beautiful, Chef. Thank you very much. This is something that I'm definitely going to recreate at home and I think my students will really love the process as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being here, Chef Kinsan. Thank you for showing me this gorgeous dish. So this one is uh, very good for family. So picnic or Sunday picnic lunch is better. So called to salmon onigiri. Japanese name is shake onigiri. Something that everyone can make at home. Thank you. <laughs> so enjoy.